Well, hello there. Happy Tuesday, the 5th of January, 2021. Welcome to the Baptist Barbell Club. Tuesdays, Tuesdays are, are not super popular with the guys. Uh, today, I don't have to stop, stop, stop. Guys, guys, guys. I just pushed my four-year-old um, by accident. Uh, so the guys, I guess the, the surprise is spoiled at this point. Since I don't have the guys to work out with today, I brought some visitors on board. Come on, guys. Bring your towel. Bring your towel. Come back here. Now you gotta look up. Do you see yourself? No. There you go. There, Judah, come over here. All right. So this is Judah, my two-year-old boy. Oh, cover that belly. Um, and this is Zoe, my four-year-old girl. Zoe, come on back. There you go. All right. So these guys are gonna come and work out with me today. Now, we've got some complex movements. You've got one complex movement of the, uh, the kettlebell snatch later in the workout. Um, but we're gonna do something with the kids so that they can do it. Uh, what's up, Josh? Uh, this is what you could be doing. Well, I guess uh, Josh had to work today, so, um, and probably wouldn't be making it here by now. It's probably just getting off work. So, um, we're gonna warm up. We're gonna do start with some strict presses, easy stuff. Uh, today, Josh uh, and, and whoever else is pretty new, I can't even read that from here, I'm that blind. Um, but uh, Josh would have been establishing a one rep max for a strict press. I have mine, my one rep max is 205, uh, and I'll be doing percentage work. And if you guys have ever done percentage work, sometimes it can get complicated, I can make it real easy. I, I establish a max, the next time I work on that, that uh, motion, stop zone. Settle down. You're gonna, you guys are going to learn more about how to discipline your children rather than how to discipline your body to, to build muscles today, I, I, I expect. So anyway, once I do that max, the next time I go through the 80%, uh, always four sets in, in uh, percentage work, it'd be sets of four at 80%. Next time, it's four sets of three at 85%. Next time, it's four sets of two at 90% and then the last time before I recheck my max, it's gonna be uh, four sets of one at 95%. So that amount of volume is clearly pushing you over, you know, the overload effect of your one rep max and I've never had, a, never rechecked my max and had it not be more. I expect for these guys, settle down guys, you don't, don't cheer for your daddy just yet. I expect, for, for these guys, for Brother Robert, Brother Tony, Brother Josh, Brother Brandon, Brother Bill now is joining us. Uh, Brother Ramon has been with us. At, hopefully he moves down here and can take part more. You guys need to settle down right now or you're gonna be going inside. Do you understand? Do you understand? Answer me. Okay. Okay, so um, I expect them to add 30, 40, 50 pounds to their maxes the next time we check. All right. So we, ha we haven't warmed up yet. I got a little bit of a knee issue, so I decided not to run. And since I've got these monkeys, we're not gonna run. We just got uh, kettlebell snatches, box jumps, and um, uh, strict presses today. So that's what we're gonna warm up for. So you guys, take your towels, swing them around. Say, yeah, let's work out, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, now would you please take towels put them down on this chair that's the resting chair it's also the punishment chair if you don't obey your daddy you're gonna miss out on the workout no one can hardly oh i guess they can see you okay put your towel down immediately or you're gonna go inside all right now we've got so i give the guys pvc pipe to uh, practice with but my kids need something a little more substantial so uh, I've got one for a four-year-old and one for a two-year-old here, so you guys grab this. Put that down. Right I'm big, so I get a bigger one. That's right. You're big, so you get a bigger one. Yes. Okay, and I'm going to get my PVC here. It's actually right here. Boy, we really left this a mess from yesterday. Ugh. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take my hat and put it backwards so because I, I need to be able to come right near my head. Would you guys... Turn and look. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Why don't you turn around and look at me? And I'll look here. Judah, Judah, wait a second. 
So put it down here and put your hands a little out to the side. Okay, okay good. Now bring it up here. And all you're gonna do is this. Push it up overhead and back down. Up overhead, back down. Uh, Judah, here, Zoe, scoot over just a little bit. All right, and then you're a little too close. Can you back up just a little bit, Zoe? No, 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 you're fine. Okay, I see what the problem is. This is in the way. All right, now, that's good. Stay right there. No, <laughs> stay right there. Back up a little bit. Good, now we've all got room. Now, to the chin, and push it up and down. Up and down. And down. Up and down. Good. Up and down. Up now, today, you guys are going to be finding the one rep max. We're going to see how much weight you can lift. All right? Okay. Go. Oh, you need to warm up, boy. Push it up over your head and back down. Now, we don't rainbow. We don't rainbow like that. We push it up and bring it to the chin. Hands apart. Hands apart. Your hands are here. Spread them out. There you go. Nice job. Good. Okay, now, Zoe. Would you please take your, um, your stick and put it right in here? <laughs> immediately, I don't have time. You've got, you've got a camera going. All right, now, come on over here. Face the camera. Now, please take this in your hand and put it down by your chin. All right, can you hold that there? This is 25 pounds. Can you push it over your head? Push it as far. You yeah, haven't even tried, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I love you. All right. Well, now your hands need to be out, spread out. Spread them out. There you go. Now hold it over your head first. There you go. Can you hold it? Hold it. Hold it, buddy. You're not even trying. Push. Push up. There you go. Now that's probably too much for him. He hardly weighs this much. Okay. Now, so, hey, okay, you are showing yourself to the whole world, you understand me? You come here and you obey your dad immediately. Now, take this, now turn your hands around the other way, baby. Turn your hands around, there you go. Now, pull it over your head, just hold it up. You haven't even, Zoe, push it down. It's cold. It's cold? Put your head down, there you go. Now, push it up. This is do or die, baby. That's it. Now, for just bring it down to your chin and push it up again. That's it. <laughs> she can do it. Push it up. Okay. Now, I don't have anything lighter than this. Now, wait a second. You have to control it. All right. All right. We're out. Okay. Zoe, you just came out to a cold gym and asked if you could work out. Hey, let's go. Hey, come on. Right here. All right. aren't going to be doing the workout, you're going to have to go inside because I'm about to lift some heavy weights and if you're, if you're not going to be doing it too. So now if you want to, you can use this, all right? Whoa, I have heavy weights. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, you're not here to play around. Heavy weights. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this didn't work out exactly as I had planned. So thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead and uh, exit stage left. Guys, put those things back and you're, you're gonna go inside. No. Oh yes, that, no, don't say no to me again or you're going on the stairs. You understand me? Listen, we've tried it. We're playing around. You're gonna go inside. Okay, go inside. Thank you. All right, go on. Okay, apologies. So, uh, didn't quite work out the way I wanted it, and it wasn't because my uh, they weren't lifting the weights, it was just because they were playing around in between. A lot of the stuff you probably couldn't see, but it was done, and um, I'm really not in a position right now to fully discipline 
So, and if you're a Bible-believing Christian, you know what I'm talking about. Because I got some time constraints here. So, let them go inside with Mama. Anyway, so we're doing strict press. So, I'm going to turn the, uh, let's see, let me move this out and turn the camera. <laughs> All right. So, just going to warm up with 10 reps. You know, I really could choose any workout that I want to really, because I haven't even published the one for Friday, although it's all written. I write them all the week before. All right. Now nah, we'll go ahead and do uh, the box jumps one. The Friday one is way more fun. Now, if you are wondering what's the proper way to do a strict press, you don't want your, your, uh, the weight to be resting on the shoulders because that would make it difficult to access that pushing up power. So you just rest it on the arms with the forearms perpendicular. You push it up. The moment it's past your forehead, you want your head forward. That's the stable uh, position of the arms and the neck. Everything in a line. Hey Siri, what is 80% of 205? <laughs> I have three Siri devices in here and none of them answered. Oh, well, I see why on this one. What's 80% of 205? And I always, well, all right, 164, so we've got to go up to uh, a five. Um, that's because we go in 10, 10 pound increments and we already have 45 pounds with the, with the bar. So that's gonna be 165. Now, if, if I uh, calculated a percentage and it was like 175.4, yeah, I'd probably take, just make it 175. I don't wanna you know, crush myself or others. So we're gonna warm up our way to 165, which is gonna be a 45 and then a 15 on each side. So let's start, let's start right away with, and we're doing four reps of that. Wow, that's not rough. FWBC playing in the background, storms and seas, because this is going to be a stormy workout. All right. We're going to warm up with five reps at 135. really my first real warm-up of anything today so let's <laughs> get it going our working set will be our warm-up in the business the business of fitness and physical therapy this is called gazelling, where there's little to no warm up prior to the, the exercise. Now, unless you count running after my kids all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. No, excuse me, that is not the weight. I need another five pounds. I put a 10 on, and really, I prefer the 15s instead of the uh, 
the tens with the five five pound coin weights because they're really clangy. Can be distracting. It can cause damage to the bar. Although I'm not too concerned with that. All right, that side's corrected. My helpless escape. We should turn this a little bit. It's like a lobster trap, though. We, well, this side, it is hell to try to push it away. Oh, oh I've got a 55 pound weight over there. Four reps at 165. This is 80% of my one rep max. That was work. That was work. What's up, Austin? Yeah, I wish you could be here too, Josh. <laughs> right about now, Josh, you'd be figuring out how much you could put overhead. Now, just let me to go over the points of performance of the strict press. You're just going from here to here, but what you're not allowed to do in a strict press, that's the word strict, is to allow the legs to give you some rebound or some power. That would be called a push press or a push jerk in order of complexity. All right, set two, let me, I got some water here somewhere. All right, they say in broadcasting, always avoid dead air. Apologize for that. Hey, uh, guys that come and work out here, we now have cups if you don't have a chance to bring your own. Set number two with 165. <clears throat> Always
take that deep breath in and hold it, that stabilizes your spine and it actually allows your muscles to express their strength better. Not that it makes your muscles stronger, but your body will literally inhibit you if it senses any kind of instability. And if you don't have that, your chest full of air, there is a slight instability of the spine. mistake of not turning the hat around you've got to get as close as possible so I went ahead and took it off with with the lift extra points for that <laughs> all right two more sets to go strict press and then we're doing a rep scheme of first round three reps second round six reps third round nine reps last round 12 reps of a couplet, actually I guess technically it's a triplet because you're doing first left and then right, of kettlebell snatch, and then box jump. Not my forte, possibly gonna embarrass myself in front of the world, but whatever. Whew. How long should you rest between sets? It depends. I mean, if you've got people waiting for you, go as fast as you can. But uh, when you're talking about building strength, you do need a chance for your muscles to reset, rebuild some glycogen. I'm sure that I don't have much glycogen left. I'm doing intermittent fasting, which is working great. Um, I'm doing a warrior style. Some of you might think it's crazy, but it's a 20 hour fasting window. And then after my workout, uh, for four hours, I've got an open window of eating. Usually I don't even take all of that because it kind of, the next thing is bedtime. So I don't want to go to bed with a full stomach. It's working great. Has a lot of research behind it. Shows good effects for building muscle. <laughs> Isn't that funny? How do you build muscle? Don't eat. Of course, that's not the whole thing, the whole truth. Um, but one thing that's important is if you're going to be doing exercise, you need electrolytes. So find electrolytes that don't have any carbs or, or especially any sugars, something that won't um, interrupt the fast. And there's a lot out there. One of the better ones, although it's very expensive, is LMNT, pronounced element. Uh, it's done by, it's made by the same people that invented the paleo diet. And that was a diet that was invented because they say they ate like, you know, uh, they say are caveman forebears, but there are more people that live in caves now than <laughs> in prehistory. Because obviously, I guess there's really nothing that would be prehistory if you consider the Bible history, and, and I do, because there, but God tells us everything from the beginning. So there is no prehistoric anything. Um, but they, they believe in cavemen. They believe Neanderthal was the caveman. You know, I tend to believe, I'm not dogmatic about this, it's not biblical necessarily. Maybe there's a tie in that the Neanderthal were just, uh, had those prominent brow ridges and the features that they had because of great age, which the Bible talks about in the book of Genesis. Um, so, well, how did I get to that? We're talking about, oh, we we're talking about diets and the paleo diet. The paleo diet, if there were cavemen, the paleo diet would have you believe that if they found this beautiful big potato, that they would just throw it away. They wouldn't eat that. Get out of here. They don't, they don't allow potatoes or, they don't, I don't think they even allow rice. Definitely not wheat. I have beans? Come on, get out of here. Now, well, is a paleo diet healthy? Okay, there's some evidence that it might be, but. Just eat good, healthy food, right? I am not doing an intermittent fasting plus 
some sort of a restraint on my food. I'm just doing intermittent fasting. Okay, I'm, I'm procrastinating at this point. Set three. Set three of four. <clears throat> oh, half backwards. If you're not making noise, you are not feeling it right. <sighs> One more set. One more set. Now, when we originally developed the percentage work, the 80% was three sets of four, followed by one set of three, because 80% sneaks up on you fast. But first of all, simplify it and increase your expectation of performance. So make all four sets, four reps at 80%. And hey, if I only get three and I'm having to fight for that fourth, there is no better stimulus for muscle growth. Now, here's a, a quiz question for you. Does lifting weights build muscle? I'll wait. Does lifting weights build muscle? I'm hearing a chorus across the nation, across the world even, of yes, weightlifting builds muscle. But it's not true. Weightlifting, exercise in general, does not make you more fit. Rest. Rest after the stimulus of exercise is what will make you more fit, is what will repair the muscle so that it is stronger, yay, shall I say bigger? That takes a while for hypertrophy of the muscle cells, but um, you need that rest. So make sure that you're resting, not just in between sets, but between workouts, between, like if you're gonna really push, if you're gonna do a max, don't do a max of the same muscle two days in a row. Now, having said that, I am not of a philosophy that I gotta wait a week before I work the pecs again. The body does not work that way. You, got, you have to work what you need. The whole body has to work as a unit to do whatever, mountain climbing, uh, uh, building a house. Hey, Miss Sherry, whatever you're doing, you need the whole body to work as a unit. So I'm not afraid of doing, say, front squats one day, back squats the next. Two days of back squats, no big deal. So there are some people out there that there's a, what is it, a squat every day movement? I've sort of faded away because there's a lot of other things you need to work on too. But um, there's no problem with working the same areas twice. Am I sore, Josh? Oh, Josh, you sore? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. All right, a little bit of water and get that fourth set and then we're on to our Metcon and then it's dinner time for me. I'll put this over here because I'll need that box. All right, let's turn up some music. Attempting four, but feeling sore. See what I did there? Lord, please don't let everyone watching realize that I'm just a man alone in this gym. <laughs> or in this garage. <laughs> All right, set four.
Still sore, but figure it out. Sore where? All over my arms. Okay, okay. <laughs> there is some tricep action here. All right, come on in. Come on into the frame. This is Brother Bill, sweetie. There you go. This reminds me, I had my children in earlier. I'm like, okay, you stand here, hold still. All right, Brother Bill. So we've never done any kind of a strict press. Anything's just started here. So we're going to take this down to the bar. I'll show you how we warm up for a max. Don't worry, you won't come off. All right. Now we pull that 45 to surprise you. Be careful. I have mistakenly put weights over there you need to have a good base when you pull off that 45 because otherwise your back that's how people hurt their backs not doing the lifts so young man i'm going to have you in a second take that bar but let me show you the points of performance of a push press first of all i made the mistake of not turning my hat around and you really need to be close to your face you're going to take a hold of it so that probably your pinky is right around that ring or just a little bit more in and it's simple you're going to go from underneath your chin over your head, no, don't grab me yet, don't grab me yet. Can you just go over this real quick? So you don't want to hold it in any kind of a clean position where your fingers and your elbows are up, your forearms are perpendicular. You're pushing over your head and you need to have it close to your face and then the moment that you move your head under, that's your point of stability. You don't want to be pushing like this. It's really not stable. So every time you get up here, try to get your head through, at the very least when you get up top, and you just all, you always want to pause at the top. Take a breath, bring it down and up. Now it's not gonna be heavy, but always good to practice for the heavy weights when you got light weights. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna have you do, uh, let's do eight reps. With 45 pound bar, good. Now that seems a bit wide for your shoulders. Do you want to go a little more narrow? There you go. Nice. All right, he's got a good position here. Ending with a good straight up and down position. Everything from the hands, elbows, shoulders, knees, feet is in a line. All right. Now, have you ever done a one rep max of any kind of weight lifting? Uh, I mean, yeah, like deadlift. Okay, deadlift. That is my favorite lift. Um, put that away. Let's start by putting, how does that feel? Felt pretty easy? Yeah. Put, uh, here, I'll give you this 15. You can put that on the end. So 15, 15, and 45 is gonna be 75 pounds. So 
watching now. This, this is going to sound like a critique, but it's not. It's a good thing. You've got kind of shaky towards the end because your shoulders are strong enough to handle the weight, but your body position is, is being tested. You know, all the little muscles, the stabilizers, they're not used to this. So if we fill that, we should go like that. Then you're going to increase your weight easily. Now we're doing a one rep max. Because of that, we're not going to be testing those stabilizers so much. That was the last one you have to do for five reps. So we're going to take plenty of break in between. And uh, the next one is going to be a two rep because it's still a warm up. But even though it's going to be heavier than this, your the stabilizers are not going to be getting in the way quite as much, All right? So I'll take care of loading it up, giving this rest. At this point, you're an athlete getting ready for a one rep max. <laughs> I'm gonna add 20 pounds to this, make it 95 pounds. Especially with that penalty pull up, that really makes you have to think and strategize, and it makes you make every push up count. So that you're doing more time under tension, and therefore, really, it's a better workout. It's going to get your muscles stronger faster. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, you're going to give me two. I think that needed a little more uh, preparation. I should have given you a, a tip. Um, with, is, is it a little tall? Are you having trouble pulling it off? I mean, it's like all the way up here, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe that's part of the problem. All right. Who do you do? Maybe I want to lift this up and then can you bring it down one notch on this side? with a spreadsheet, 85 pounds. And I've 
already got you in here. Bill for Strict Press. There's Strict Press. And Bill. Alright. So the next time you come here, you're going to do your 80% four times for this one. Uh, and then we work a whole progression. Okay, let me introduce the Metcon to you, and then we'll do a little warming up, because I haven't warmed up for it yet either. Is this yours or mine? That's definitely yours. Okay, do you want some water? Sure. All right. Yeah, normally we would have gotten a delivery right around Christmas, but because of the holidays, they didn't. So we have to wait an extra week and, you know, you get used to the amount that you have. But add plus, I tried to use five gallons of water in my minivan to use it as an RV. <laughs> I know I've like snatched and pressed more than that in the past, so it's been a long time. You, what's that? I know I've like snatched and pressed more oh, yeah. than that in the past. It's yeah. been a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just it. it just you know, being, being out of practice is more of an issue than having less strength. What? What's he saying, baby? Translator. A book? A real book. <laughs> what are you saying that uh, people out there that are watching my live stream are having to bring a book? Because it's boring? Get a hey, young lady. Go in with your mama. Where where is your baby baby sister? Is she coming through? Oh, careful. Okay, good. Good. Popcorn after dinner. Popcorn after dinner? Come on. No, just dinner. Get on the stairs. Young lady. Don't you sass me. <laughs> so we have a box to jump on. That's we need a box and we need kettlebells and that's all we need.
enough. Okay, so I'm going with a, a 20 inch box. But before we even worry about that, there's a, there's a skill movement that we need to train. All right, so the workout today is going to be three, it's a, a round of three reps, a round of six reps, a round of nine reps, and then a round of 12 reps. And what we're doing is a kettlebell snatch, left arm first, right arm first, and then box jumps. So the first one is going to be, let me show you what, a, first let me show you what a kettlebell snatch looks like. Uh, I'll use a 35. I'm going to be using a 55 in the wad. So, you always, whenever you do any kind of kettlebell work, I guess I don't need to turn that around for this one. You always want the kettlebell to be pretty well in front of you, so you have to reach to get it, and you want your feet wide, wide because you're going to bring your forearm into your hips so that you can get power from your hips. Your arms are just spaghetti noodles. Now, of course, they're not completely spaghetti noodles on this one because we are doing a movement where we're getting power from the hips and then we're bending the arm and then we're getting it overhead. Now, we're, I'm going to have uh, Brother Bill start with a 20 pounder and then, hey, if that doesn't work, that's okay. We can use something else because there is a feature of kettlebells that you have to be careful of. If you grip too hard, then it will tend to stay up here, and then when you get up top, it'll hit you right here. So you have to keep a nice, of course you need a hard grip here, so it doesn't fall out of your fingers, but once it's in flight, you loosen your grip and push your hand, almost open grip, through. And believe it or not, you would think that by the physics of it that that would slam your forearm, no, it doesn't. It actually keeps it from keeps it from bending. So this is a 35 pound weight. You bring it into the hips and snatch. You kind of let it. If I did slow motion, you bend your arm and flip it forward, back in the hips and snatch. All right. So that's what a kettlebell snatch looks like. Um, we're gonna use a training tool, <laughs> a chain, all right? So we got a chain and purposely it's got a little bit hanging here. Now if that were to hit you, it's not gonna be pleasant, but you know it's hitting you, all right? So you want to be able to pull it up so that it doesn't smack you. It's not exactly like a kettlebell because it's flexible, but if you notice that you're doing this, and it's really hurting you, quit. All right? So I'm gonna have you just do three on each side. Good, now use access power. That's it. Your hips are gonna be the ones that really get you to go up. There you go. All right, switch sides. Okay, try to hit yourself in the thighs and then bring it up. And think, now watch what, where my hand is. It's really close to my body. There you go. All right. Pretty good. Now it's time for the 20s. I'll take that. I, I was actually going to have my kids do this one, but I don't know. I don't think they're ready. <laughs> All right. So we're going to actually start with the left, because I always advise if you're doing single arm stuff, start with the left unless you're left-handed. So you basically start with the goofy arm. All right, so again, the weight is in front of me, so I have to reach forward to get it because I'm gonna take it and instead of lifting it straight up, I'm bringing it into the hips and push up. Oh, I forgot about the Apple Watch. <laughs> Cannot do this with an Apple Watch, unfortunately. Fortunately, you're pretty ginger with that thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, when you do it the right way, it's very soft. And you end, hand open, all right? Don't hold 
tight. Then you put it down in front of you, grab it with the other hand, and up. Will it hit your forearm at all? Yeah, of course it will, but it won't break you. Give it a try, left hand first, or goofy arm first. Okay, now you're way out here. You're like doing this thing, that's hard, man. So bring it in, into the hips, and then pop the hips up. There you go. Okay, that is awesome, but I think I'm gonna have you do it a different way. And this is gonna bring it all together in the future. So. This is different from a snatch. It's basically a clean and jerk. So instead, you're gonna try your best to get it in the hips, but it doesn't matter if you do as much. You're just gonna bring it to here, push it up. Up to here. I'm sorry, it's really hard for me not to go all the way up. So think shoulder, push it up. And really, it doesn't take much. You can just kind of bring it around. Bring it around, push up, all right? And you will notice why I've done this movement, doing this one, because there you go. Boom, that is an awesome move. So we're gonna do this partner style. We're not gonna uh, do it so that we're both doing it at the same time. I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do three reps with the 55 pound, um, left hand, then right hand, and then three reps here. When I'm done, it's not gonna be a big rush, you don't have to be ready to go. It's kind of a not for time kind of thing. But while you're doing it, you want to go as much as, as best you can. This is a really dangerous movement, and I really I don't think you signed my waiver, so <laughs> let's not get too crazy. All right. Now, how about a little warm-up first? I'm gonna have you do 10 squats, starting with slow. Now, do you feel comfortable jumping on a box in those pants? Are they going to handle it? No, yeah, they're fine. Okay. Oh, and I should definitely mention if you're doing this at home, jumping on the box is great. It is dangerous. Uh, consult your physician before starting any kind of um, exercise program. Consult your physician before you fall off the box or hurt yourself. But in CrossFit competition, and in my eyes as a trainer, it's 100% okay to just do a step up on the box. Make sure I don't have anything we're gonna hit up here. That's perfectly fine. If you wanna step up, I definitely, even if you jump up, I definitely recommend that you step down because it's when people jump back down that they have injuries. Now we've only got a 20 inch step, it's not that big a deal. Um, I think probably I've got a knee issue going on. I really don't wanna hurt myself, so I'm probably going to do a step up. You're welcome to do a step up. Uh, whatever you want to do. Alright, so I'll leave that up to you guys if you're going to do this at home. And I think I just saw something come through here. This is the one I wanted to see. Alright. Oh, Miss Sherry's watching. Maybe I will do some jumps. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move yours over a little bit. Alright, so the first round is going to be three. Turn up that music. No clocks needed for this one. No matter what, I need to make sure there are no kettlebells here because I don't want to be tripping over. All right, 55 pounds. I had to do 100 kettlebell snatches with uh, a 53, two pounds less than this, in five minutes in order to earn my Russian kettlebell certification. So, and I barely, barely made it. Oh. All right. Three. 
Oh, and between each one, you do have to stand up all the way. Okay. All right. with that flip. Just kind of bring it around to the side. Ready. Ready. 
Second to last set. nature strength. <laughs> That's what my pastor says about me. My pastor just called me a freak. <laughs> but I'll take that kind of freak. All right. Last set. 12 reps. Let's see if I can do it. 12, 12 instead of splitting. I considered splitting because that last one was hard, but endure hardness like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here we go. Twelve reps.
air is better up here. It's not time allowed. Just remember this. I don't get to eat until we're done. You shouldn't do more. You should go faster. Do the 12 as fast as you can. There you go. How do we get strong? We lift weights. How do we get our cardio? We lift weights faster. We're done, right? Yeah. Two more to go on this one. The thing, though, that you haven't said that I never want to hear is, I can't do it. Because I will make you do it and more. Oh, there it is. There it is. That was a max. Ha <laughs> ha. No the max. max. No falling. He did good. We, I didn't even have to catch him. He caught himself. <laughs> What's up, Brother Dylan? Hey, brother. Rewind it and watch it from the beginning because this is a good one. You got to get those, those delts and those traps stacked, brother. All right, but for now, we're done. I'm starving. Intermittent fasting has taken me. I need my food. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Sher Miss Sherry says, good job. Brother Bill, <laughs> oh, oh you, you can say thank you. Get those, here. boom, get those arm swings. Bill, oh, God, 
No, I gave him a scale. He did exactly what he was supposed to. It's good. We're training for later. We'll get the, the like the full skill. That takes a long time. It took me at least a few months to get that. Anyway, this is Eli Chef Gaines from the Baptist Barbell Club saying, soul winning first. Get get soul winning. Get reading your Bible. Get praying. And then, if you got time, and if you've got friends, super friends like us, then you can work out. Just remember, you. You're cranky when you're in the flesh. Now go get it.